these kinds of questions are tough. Statistics questions when they're hard are, are really hard. You got to be able to understand what's happening and think about it. I'll try to give you some tips here, but I don't know. Some people are just not going to be able to wrap their heads around this. Uh, two different teams consisting of 10 members each ran in a race. Each member's completion time of the race was recorded. The mean of the completion times for each team was calculated and is shown below. So these are the means, okay? These are the means. Which of the following must be true? Meaning, if we find one instance where it's not true, then that's it. Game over for that choice. So Roman numeral one. Every member of team A completed the race in less time than any member of team B. Okay. So just generally with statistics, whenever you see words like all or every, you should be skeptical because... What statistics is doing is it's seeing a lot of data and in this case, literally averaging it out, right? Kind of summarizing it. And so the summary is what we get, but that doesn't necessarily mean we know very much about the data points, the individual, in this case, racers who kind of contributed to this value. So remember, a mean is going to take all 10 of those people and kind of sum them up and divide and and there will be outliers. There might be one really, really fast person or one really, really slow person, but that person's not going to show up in an average. They might affect the average in a little, in a bit of a way, but we wouldn't know in what, in, in what way. So it's possible that even though team A was as a whole faster, there was one really, really, really slow person who had like a 10 minute time. We wouldn't know that but it could have happened. But it also could have been the case that everyone in team B was like within 3.7 to 3.9, right? Like everyone was really there. They were all on top of it. They didn't have anyone dragging them down. So if everyone else in team A was more like three minutes, so there's times one of those versus three minutes times nine. I'm not actually doing any math here. I'm just kind of estimating. But if everyone else in team A was really, really fast and there's just this one slow person, then the average would still be pretty low, but that one slow person would be an outlier and it would be possible that that person um, took more time to complete the race than every single member of team B, meaning choice A could be wrong, it is wrong. I mean, it could be wrong. Is there other, it doesn't have to be. It's not necessarily the case that that's, that is a, a problem, but um, we found a, sol- a situation where it is. Um, hopefully that makes sense. This is very hard to think about. Uh, two, the median time it took the members of team B to complete the race is greater than the median time it took the members of team A to complete the race. Again, we just don't really know. I mean, again, the the mean of um, team B is going to be kind of a weighted average, whereas the median is an absolute middle. We just don't know what went into either of these teams. So I'm going to get rid of two for kind of the same reason that I got rid of one. Is We don't know that distribution. We don't know if there's some outliers or things like that. We don't know. Maybe um, team B is actually really, really slow. Maybe that has a, a, a bunch of like seven-minute people. But then there's one person who literally is like the flash and just got there in a split second. And that one person brought the average down, but then the median value would still be along the slower ends because median is an absolute middle. So we just don't know. We don't, we don't know what's going on in these individual things. So we're not able to make any sort of a confident statement about who, what the distribution of the A racers versus the distribution of the B racers would be. Uh, Let's look at three. Hopefully it's right, because otherwise we're (laughs) out of answer choices here. Uh, Three, there is at least one member of Team B who took more time to complete the race than some member of Team A. Yes. Now look at how nice that language is, right? At least one, um, some member, right? It's a lot softer. And I do think that if you had to just kind of guess randomly, um, yeah, Roman numeral three is kind of how these answer choices tend to sound for statistics questions. It, um, it, it's more, it gives more wiggle room. It kind of allows things to flow without us being really pinned down to one particular situation. So the reason this must be true is an average is taking into account all of the people. So even if every other member of Team B was faster than every other member of Team A, if there's one really, really slow Team B member, they're going to bring the average up. They're going to increase the time that it took them to complete this race. So that one person is going to have a higher average or, or a higher time than the people in Team A. So um, yes, that has to be the case. Now notice though, there could still, this is kind of going back to what we said about Roman number one, there could still be a person in Team A 
that is even slower than this very, very slow person in team B. But choice three allows for this because it allows that there's just some member of team A who is faster. And that's just how averages work. There must be someone who's pulling that average down that's being really, really fast in team A. And there must be someone in team B who's pulling that average up. So those two things have to be true in order for these two numbers to be this different. And that's what choice three is allowing. So A is the answer. Um, the Something I, I might do in other cases is try to come up with a list of 10 people and show you exactly uh, what's going on and, and try to have like a, a list of 10 that we can use to understand the situation really easily. The reason I didn't do that here though is the numbers are really tough to think about, right? Am I going to be able to randomly pick numbers that have an average of 3.1 or 3.41 or 3.79? That's harder to do. If it was just like a regular three, I could probably do it in a pinch, but I, I wouldn't want to worry about it being perfect here. So that's why I didn't arithmetize my own list here. But yeah, that means we have to do this a little bit more conceptually, which is unfortunate, is very hard. If you have questions, please put them in the comments. I, I hope I did a good enough job of this to kind of give you a sense of it. But if there is a takeaway here, just generally speaking with statistics questions, beware of absolutes, beware of choices that have that kind of like every person, all the people you know, are faster, all the people are slower. That kind of stuff scares me. It might not always be wrong, but if you're just trying to move faster a question, generally try to avoid those things and pick things more like Roman numeral three here, where you have that kind of more wiggle room in the language, just like one person is greater, one person is less. That's a lot safer of a choice.